Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Foreman from TradingWinds.com, and this is our update for April 2nd, 2024. Uh, interesting day. No doubt uh, we opened to the downside. Actually, uh, futures were lower prior to the open, and uh, we remained in the red the full day here. If you look at the Dow, down almost 400 points, closing right at the 20 here. Um, did blow right through that prior high. Now we wait and see if we take out this uh, more significant low at 39,000. Uh, or if we hold here and bounce, we'll see. But right now that potential double top um, looking looking like, uh, you know, it's, it's real here on the Dow. But I, again, overall very early, right? If you switch to the, the weekly, the monthly, I mean... You know, you don't see a lot there to be concerned about, right? So it's way too early. We look at the S&P, down 32 points, almost 33. You know, this one did come all the way back to the 20, bounced by the end of the day, closed right at that level. Uh, the NASDAQ 100, um, also uh, trading much lower than where it closed. It did bounce late in the day, still down 150 points, still a decent down day. The Russell down 36 points, closing right at that 20 or just below it there. Uh, if we look at crude oil, it continues to climb. Just a beautiful move here, up 2% again. Um, so, you know, uh, look for more uh, more plays in the energy uh, sector here. Gold as well, gold continues to move up 42 points here on the day, looking really, really strong. And uh, the dollar pulling back slightly here, but bond yields were mostly higher and the VIX ending up at 1460. You know, one stock and a lot of people talked about today was Tesla. Early this morning, we got their deliverable numbers, which were down, I believe, eight and a half percent from last year, a, a significant drop. And we saw a nice big gap to the downside. Now we've been trading this one for a while with our members. If we go back, um, <clears throat> there was, uh, when was it here? Let me go to the weekly. Uh, yes, back in here when, uh, we were watching this and it tripped to 200 level, went down to 100, even though we thought it was going, could go all the way to 20 at the time it bounced. It's now sort of made another rounded top here and is on its way back there. I, I do believe we're not only going to see this at 100, but eventually, the 20 mark, yes, I said it, the 20 mark right down here. That is the only place that this looks like it should find some support. Very little support between where it is now and down here. And that may be difficult to believe that it's going to drop from, what was it, 420 at the highs here almost down to 20? Hey, I can tell you I've been in this business a long time and I've seen that over and over and over again. The only thing to do right now on Tesla is uh is look for for short setups and uh, i do think this one will continue to go lower for now